Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks. And of course y'all, we're good. <laughs> Y'all read the title. This is going to be a long because y'all see all the boxes and stuff I had here. Um, it's going to be a long first apartment essentials, what you need, what I bought, all of that type of video. I'm sorry for the awkward angle on my tripod just doesn't go any lower than this. And I have my little ottoman here. That's not new, but I don't know. Then I feel like y'all are saying too much, child. I don't know. So... I'm gonna just sit up here for now. So if you are interested in what my apartment looks like, I will link it up above. I'm not sure if it's on this side or on this side, but I'm gonna link it up above regardless. Um, I did a vlog. It's actually a vlog that I'm doing today, but it's gonna go up a week earlier. So you guys will get the empty apartment tour, um, my little one week grocery haul type of situation. Just, um, I'm going big, big grocery shopping next week when the rest of my furniture and everything comes. So. I'm sorry I look crusty y'all I'm talking too much but let's go ahead and just get right into it so the first thing I pulled out right here the theme for my apartment y'all is black girl luxury so um, my apartment is really nice even though it's affordable I'm um, it's newly renovated and everything and this is my first apartment so I wanted to make sure that I wanted to make sure that I was investing not only in myself but in my potential and this my home my apartment is going to be like my sanctuary my safe place you know where you gotta go every day after work um and just to relax and everything so I really wanted to buy good things quality things that will last long and everything so I don't have to worry about repurchasing and everything all of that so one of the things that I got that I didn't necessarily need was a shower mirror okay so I got this huge shower mirror sorry for the glare y'all um this one is from melanin hair care it's massive I can't wait to put this up in my shower I'm actually washing my hair later on tonight so um yeah i'm really excited to use this i've always wanted a shower mirror um and i just think it'll it's just again not necessarily something that i need but it was something that adds just a little bit of luxury that wasn't too expensive that i really wanted to invest in so next y'all i got a water filter this one is from life straw and this is an 18 cup one so that's what this looks like. I can't wait to put this in my refrigerator. Um, so I actually saw on TikTok that this Life Straw one is better than Brita filters. Um, I live on a fifth floor. Granted, we have an elevator, but I'm not trying to carry no cases of water up here. That's what's not going to happen. So I want to get this filter. Plus, it's better for the environment. Um, so this one, it says it filters lead, mercury, and heavy metals, bacteria and parasites, chemicals, microplastics and improves the taste and um yeah it actually wasn't a whole lot more expensive than um brita so i figured i would go ahead and get this one i wanted it since i saw it on tiktok and everything pittsburgh has really bad water really bad water um but i also don't like to drink bottled water if i don't have to it's just it just I'm not trying to repurchase bottled water as well as it's just better for the environment to not drink out of plastic bottles. I have a lot of reusable bottles, so I figure I just go ahead and get this, and I'm really, really excited to try it. Next, y'all, I actually got this trash can here. It is a stainless steel situation. It's not too big, but it's also not too small. It's 20 liters. It, it has a little pedal on the bottom, and it is a soft close which I love that and I actually picked this up from home goods and it was $29.99 which I thought was a pretty decent price because it's stainless steel so I can't wait to um like wipe it off so it'll be super clean and everything I did get trash bags at some point in this haul um I thought this was a really good deal for 30 bucks because trash cans as I started to find out are just really expensive and um I wasn't about to be paying $80 for a trash can and it's just me uh -uh. So, y'all, I also filled up this trash can just to make it easier for me on the move. So, one of the things that I picked up here was these, um, what is it, Farberware magnetic bag clips. And they come in all of these different colors. These are just like chip clips or like, you know, cereal bag clips, anything that you need to clip like that. I got these from Ross and these were $3.99 and it's a six pack. So, 
definitely i thought was a good price and i like all the colors all right y'all so going into the trash can that i packed i picked up this dr teal's foaming bath soap and this is in the lavender scent y'all i love to take baths so a lot of the stuff in this trash can is bath stuff i picked this up from cvs um, they have a rewards program and they send me 40% off coupons all the time. So I ended up getting this for 40% off. I don't know how much it is exactly, but I'll put how much it is regularly priced in the um, video somewhere. I'll make a pop-up because they sell them in Target, they sell them in CBS, they sell them everywhere, child. So if you are a bath taker, I highly recommend the Dr. Tubes. So next I picked up this two-pack of ice cube trays. Um, and these are the little ones. Um it doesn't say what size they are but i picked these up from ross and these were 2 dollars and like i said there's two of them and i wanted to pick this size up because these fit in like your water bottle um just super easily they're not too big they're not too small and it's silicone on the bottom so it makes it easier to pop them out which we love to see it next y'all another thing i picked up from ross because y'all i went kind of crazy in ross i got this kitchen aid um can opener y'all and it was only $8.99 and I got it in this red color so you'll see red a lot throughout my kitchen because I have a red Keurig so I wanted to you know have my colors kind of bounce off of that so you always need a can opener so I went ahead and got this one and everybody knows that KitchenAid is a good brand okay so the next thing I got I also got these from Ross these are um measuring cups and a spoon set and y'all these are KitchenAid as well and these ones are black and this set was $5.99 which I thought was a really good deal because you get the measuring cups and measuring spoons so we love to see it thank you Ross thank you TJ Maxx thank you Marshalls because I got so much stuff from there and got to save a lot of money okay all right y'all so next I have a bag of stuff from CVS um and they are actually both epsom salts so like i said i like to take baths especially after a day like this where i've been on my feet all day just moving stuff just real active baths for me are just super relaxing i love the feeling i love how clean i feel after like i just i just feel like as a woman you need to soak in some water okay that's just all i'm gonna say if you want to shower before if you want to shower after if you don't want to shower at all it's up to you but I feel like you need to sit in the tub every once and again, okay? So, for an extra little razzle dazzle, I like to add some Epsom salts. So, I picked up these Ohm Sleep Lavender Epsom salts. And y'all, I'm so excited to try these because can we talk about packaging? How freaking cute. Um, I've only really tried the Epsom salt ones, the um, Dr. Teal's, because those are <laughs> tried and true, honey, okay? But these ones smell really good. There was a matching bath soap, but I already have the Dr. Teal's lavender and I didn't need two lavender sets. So I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So yeah, y'all, I'm excited to try these. It says that um, they work for better sleep. They're cruelty free. They're better for you vegan ingredients. And they're um, free from animal products, animal byproducts, parabens, phthalates, and mineral oil. And it is a 48 ounce bag and it is resealable, which that's a major key. So I'm so excited to try these very, very soon. And then y'all, I did go ahead and get the Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salt. This one is the Relax and Relief. And this is in the Eucalyptus and Spearmint scent. And this one is three pounds. <laughs> we love to see it so these are tried and true for me um it's not a super like minty type of smell or anything it just smells very clean very just we love it here that's what it smells like it smells like wealth and we love it here so let me know down below if you're a bath taker because i am all right y'all so next i got these um cutting boards and these ones i want to say yeah i picked these up from ross and these are bamboo it's a two pack there's a little small baby one and then there's of course the big daddy and y'all i got these for 11.99 we love to see it and i love that the big one has the handle so that's what they look like they're super 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 y'all heavy duty like this is heavy like it broke through the bag they gave to me 
um which i wasn't mad at or anything it's just um like they're really 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 quality for 11.99 so i'm really excited to start cooking with these because your girl is gonna have to start cooking for herself so let me know if y'all want to go on that little adventure with me learning how to cook and chow all of that all of that so i'm really excited to try these cutting boards okay all right y'all so next we're gonna go ahead and get into the stuff i got from ikea i didn't actually get a whole lot of stuff from there i really thought i was really going to like tear ikea up but i really ended up spending a lot more money at tj maxx and marshall's so and ross as y'all can see ross is all up and through this haul so y'all the main thing i went to um ikea for was this dishware set so y'all this is an 18 piece set it comes with six big plates, six little plates, and six bowls, which do I really need that many? Probably not because it's just me here, but like it's just so like what a deal. And I think I paid $25 for this whole set. They're just plain white. I'm not going to hold them up because they're mad heavy and it's just white plates and bowls. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all of my kitchen stuff. I got to disinfect, chow, everything in here. Um, hence while I had the energy drink because your girl has a long long day ahead of her but yeah y'all I wanted to pick up these plates there because I think that $25 for an 18 piece dish set is just top two and not two so I have plenty of plates plenty of bowls for my place okay y'all so another thing that just so happened to be in my little Ikea bag is this little sugar bowl that I got and this is what she looks like how freaking cute it is deep we love the wooden um cork lid so y'all i really wanted a sugar bowl my mom has a sugar bowl but hers is small and i feel like we had to fill that up every day because we both drink coffee every day and i like sugar in my coffee <laughs> okay um so i wanted a bigger one and this is perfect i won't have to fill this up every day maybe like once a week type um just to keep it full but I picked this one up from Home Goods and it was $6.99. So definitely go to Home Goods because you can find little unique pieces like this that I think are just super freaking cute. Okay, y'all. So another thing that I picked up that I already obviously have started using is these um, Farberware kitchen shears. And this one I picked up from TJ Maxx and they were only $3.99. But it's just these red little kitchen sears for if you need to, you know, cut a packet of meat open or something like that. I really wanted to make sure that I had some kitchen scissors so I'm not, you know, just trying to use a knife and end up cutting myself and all of that. So these are definitely going to be a major key. Next, y'all, I picked up this set of clear bins. And I actually picked these again up from TJ Maxx. They were $14.99 and there's three separate bins in here and I actually had plans to use this um, in like a little tiered setup type of thing in my bathroom but I don't think it's going to work out in my bathroom so I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I may just keep them for extra like skincare type storage and put them up in one of my closets or something but um, I definitely think this is a really good deal. It's very aesthetic uh -huh. um, and for $15 you get three of them so I thought that was a really good deal. And it has the little handle, so it makes it just easy to, just to pull out. Okay, y'all, so the last two things that I picked up from Ikea was this strainer, which I absolutely was obsessed with because, y'all, it just collapses. And I think that is just such a unique um, type of thing just because it just saves so much space. So as y'all saw, it just pops open. So if you wanted to rinse off some fruit, if you're straining some noodles, anything like that, it's just a silicone bottom. So it makes it super easy to to store it. It makes it easy to clean it. It makes it easy to do all of that. So I thought this was a super creative thing and definitely perfect if you have like a smaller kitchen because I have a really small kitchen, but this will just fit perfectly somewhere. And then I picked up this is a um, like dish drying situation. <laughs> it's like um, the little mat that goes under your dish, um, your your dish strainer. Is that what it's called? Child, it goes under that thing so that you know your countertops aren't always wet. Okay, y'all. So I'm recording right now, and we're already pretty far along in this video. So I think I'm gonna do three more bags, and then the rest of the stuff I'm just gonna include in a part two of this video. So that'll go up next week, y'all. I've been trying. I don't know if y'all peep, but I've been trying to do like a non-hair video one day of the week, and then a hair video the second video of the week. So let me know if y'all peep game but we're just going to go through um the, these little products right here and then this half of the room will be a part two video so y'all of course 
going to a new apartment you gotta have laundry detergent i personally don't have in, in unit washing there is a washer on this floor washer and dryer i'm not sure if i'm gonna be using that or not but i definitely still wanted to make sure to get laundry detergent because <laughs> i'm still gonna have to wash my millions of clothes so i picked up the Persil um laundry detergent i like Persil. my mom picked it up randomly one time and we really liked it so that's what i picked up and then y'all i picked up some charmin toilet paper this is the ultra strong it's the 32 regular i think it's eight mega rolls um it's just me so i didn't need to pick up a huge thing of toilet paper but i like two line okay and then y'all the next thing i picked up was this um expandable utensil organizer this is what it looks like because I realized um, now that I'm all moved in, I don't really have a big drawer for um, like an organizer like this. I'm going to have to get a smaller one because it's a little space. So hopefully I can find a receipt for this one. But I know I didn't pay too much for this. Oh yeah. I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $6.99. So hopefully I find somebody to give this to. If not, I won't be mad about it because it was only $6.99, y'all. Okay, y'all. And in this next bag, I have a couple of things. Okay, y'all, so the first thing that I picked up was this um, Target brand Made by Design toaster. Um, so it's just a two-piece um, two toaster. I don't know. I didn't need nothing too fancy because, again, it's just me. I don't really see myself making, you know, any crazy amount of toast. So just both my sides of a bagel child or two pieces of toast or anything like that. Um, but I tend to eat a lot of, like... Y'all know like Eggo waffles, so I definitely wanted to make sure I picked up this. And then for the last thing in this haul, I just picked up this like wash bin, dish pan, um, and it's from Target. It's 12 ounces. Just so um, I could put this in my sink to actually wash my dishes. But yeah, y'all, so that is part one of this video here today. Um, so definitely stay tuned for part two of this. And again, like I said, that'll go up next week. So if you are moving, if you are, you know, you recently moved or you know you just have some moving tips honey please comment them down below because i would love to hear them y'all so yeah y'all definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next one